Okay, as you've seen in the video, we we're actually trying to show uh, it looks like the tap is okay. Uh, we do have some calcite that's right there. Uh, it's not currently in the flow area. Uh, we are going to pull back at this time. Uh, we are going to pause one second to pull the jet hose out, and then we will do a final video. Okay, we've removed the jet hose. Again, you can see we tried to spray this area, um, get a better visual. Uh, we weren't, we were able to just get a quick glimpse of the tap. As you see, we also have a joint here. Uh, had some calcite. Uh, we did jet some of that uh, just to clear it a little bit. Uh, you are going to notice that we do have, uh, when we come to this joint, you can see we do have uh, cracked tile here you can see where it drops off uh, it appears to be a circumferential crack um, we are going to continue uh, to pull back we did descaling uh, and the reason why we did some jetting in the main was to clear out all our debris from descaling as you can see we have another crack uh, here this is a joint You can see the main, uh, other than the area right by the tap, uh, you can see we have another circumferential crack here uh, just before this joint as well. You can see it almost appears that possibly the tiles are this way as we see three tiles that all have the uh, same appearance of cracks uh, all the way through the sewer just before uh, a joint it looks like we have that um, it's possibly a mold issue with the it's hard to we don't see any dirt or anything exposed um, through the cracks but you do see it's almost every tile has that same marking um, just before the joint. And then here's the cast iron. Uh, this area was descaled. Uh, we descaled from both stacks all the way to the end of the cast iron. The only area that we could not was we could not descale through the backwater valve. But we've been able to clear everything out and everything is in uh, good condition at this time.